Welcome back. Usabu Gelanai, the link on our SABC One Zansi for sure every Wednesday at 6 o'clock. Don't forget if you want to interact with us, do hashtag us on Twitter. Hashtag the link. Now, we've been waiting for him for the past year. We're talking about businessman, DJ, best selling author, fashionista. What are you not, Spoo? <laughs> A woman. <laughs> Before we get into education and your MBA and your book, I want to talk about your fashion sense. I can't really define it, but I just, I love chic, I love class. I think you also grow. I mean, I never used to wear ties all the time and suits all the time, but because I'm always in meetings with serious people, so obviously I have to, to look the part. I mean, from the pen to my cufflinks, my watch, you know, the type of shirt that I wear, the type of cut it is, and I pay attention to, to detail. You guys need to see you know? the socks. I need to uh, please show your uh, socks. Oh, my socks, yeah, you can yes. see my socks. Yeah, my socks. How long are they? What do you call them? The happy socks? Uh, you can call them my summer socks. Your you summer can, socks. Yeah, but they are called happy socks, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, no, you're one guy that's had a great journey. Me and you are both from townships. I actually really didn't think that I'd be where I am today, but mm. I, I sort of really wanted a better life. Like, I remember, when I was in the middle of the day, I was like, I want to go to the when things were applying, yes. I'd be the guy that was vo more vocal. I was a video game. I was Street Fighter. Oh, do you care? Mm, I was mm. Shinobu Kung Fu Master Pac Man. But uh, I was an enthusiastic, happy child. I was really hungry for success. I didn't think that my journey would be where I am right now. The accolades that I've gotten over the past couple of years, especially last year, one of the 100 most influential Africans. Yeah, and I think the reason why you inspire the youth mostly is because when I were working with was you actually repeated my trick. I always use that as a, as a, as a, as a tool to encourage or inspire matriculants to say, it's not that you're dumb, no failing. Yeah. Or you can fail if you don't prioritize your school. Mm -hmm. That cycle repeated itself at a later stage in my career when I was doing well at a, at a young age when mm -hmm. we were running a record company, we were selling hundreds of thousands mm -hmm. of albums. You know, we had brand tests and Zegas Zeg and Town and so forth. And it's all friends all the time. It's it's going out. And when you're paying the bill, our friends are expecting you to pay all the time. It's like, you don't mind, you pay it. Yeah. You're going out and you're the man, you know? But with time, you started seeing with no man. Where is my life going? Why yeah. do I have so many friends all of a sudden? You have to come into a point in your life where you, whether you either promote, demote, or delete. Yeah. Was the leadership project in your mind at that time? No, it wasn't. What exactly happens then? What happens is Leadership 2020 is our goal for the year 2020. We plan to have impacted um, 10 million lives. Mm -hmm. When everybody else is complaining about leadership, then what are we doing to breed other leaders, future True. leaders? Mm -hmm. And the mindset around young people right now, you ask 10 of them what they want to become. I mean, seven of them will either tell you they want to be a mm -hmm. they want to be a rapper, they mm -hmm. want to be an actress. Like, not a lot of them want to go to space, become chartered accountants, mm -hmm. become game changers. So we felt it's, we're taking this responsibility amongst ourselves mm -hmm. to promote that. Good evening. Like, 19, a young, a young man, 19 years of age, that you work with. I've taken him under my wing to say, South Africa needs to see, see this boy. South Africa needs to hear this boy, especially mm -hmm. South African youth. Pagamila, as a born free and as a young person living in South Africa in 2014, what is your vision statement? I want to change the way people look at leadership. We want to make leadership as cool as being a DJ, make it as cool as being on TV, because once we have that, it means lives are being changed through people having a good time. Lives are being changed through people being cool about the right thing. Thanks, man. Nice one. Proud of you. Pagamila, Mzanzi, Pagamila, Pagamila, Pagamila. Ayeye. Now you've got a book out that everybody's talking about on social networks, media. This Thank is your you. copy. My first copy. Trust me, I'll be reading it. The up. book is, is mainly number one, encouraging people to read, black mm -hmm. people to read. Mm. The book is being sold in unconventional ways of getting it out there. We're not waiting to be in stores. Yeah. We're selling it in the streets. We're selling it at our seminars. We're selling it at my party, in my kiki. And we're mixing it with lifestyle. Wow. Yeah. It's cool to read. Yeah. And we've coined the term intellectual swag. Okay. So what I've done with the book is I've gone on and, and I've gotten um, some successful leaders in their mm. own right mm. to co author the book with me. How important is it for you to keep inspiring Abafana Basta guys. It doesn't mean without Kelezanga and Ingama, you're not good enough. Nagunam and Kelezanga and Ingama. Nagunam, you feel the limit quick. Nagunam, Mazang and Gumi family in a neighbor on a top. You know, you already lamb fun and really like a bill by society. You know, only lamb no one beside the fun and already like Sunday 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 like Mufana now, but then the main important thing is not just to stay behind these cameras, but it's upon us to go out there at Kasi and just live out and spread out the spirit of Utata Nelson Mandela. My guy, you're going back to school? 
I'm going back to school. You're going to be doing an MBA. It's an MBA in the music and the arts. And it's something that I've done. I mean, I've been an executive in the music space. We've come up with ways in building brands in the entertainment industry. So it's something that I've done, but it's just nice to go and actually uh, do the program. When you are done, I'll be joining you. I just want to no, see first. You must join me now. <laughs> no. You know, when you, you want to say, I want to do something, I'm going to do it. I know. Like, Neta Ava Jen. Jen's Neta Ava, you see, I want to sit with you in two years when you've all press level and... I'm excited that you're actually on SABC One, <laughs> the biggest channel in the country. Mm -hmm. Now you are known because you're on the relevant channel. <laughs> yeah. Where can we get this book anyway, right? The book well. is out on retail stores eventually. We yeah. started selling it in the streets and everywhere, which did, did very well. 200 Damage. bucks. Thank you very much, Spoosie. So do make sure that you follow him on Twitter. That's at DJ Spoo or on Instagram at DJ Spoo and get yourself a copy of Leadership 2020. It is only 200 bucks. But right now, it's time for us to see how you can get Lira's hairstyle with Jawad.